Peace and love, family. Peace and love. It's your boy Chris and Light and coming back again with some more spiritual fiddles. And today I'm going in on Are You Weakening Your Spiritual Defenses? Ooh, this is a good one, family. This is a good one. This one is needed more than any video I've done because not too many humans are aware that they're weakening their spiritual defenses. I have people out here telling me, hey, I'm not winning. I want to do this. I want to do that. I keep having bad luck. I keep this. I keep that. Nothing is going right for me. I feel as if I can't win. I feel as if I'm trapped. And I'm here to tell you, family, the best thing that weakens your spiritual defenses is your mindset. Is your mindset. The more you focus on that which is hurting you, that you believe is hurting you, the more it will hurt you. Whatever you focus on the most is what you get the most. So if you're always focusing on the bad things, you're telling the universe, I want more bad things to happen to you. It's, it's just that simple. Your choice of words, your vernacular, the lexicon you choose to speak with is another thing that weakens your spiritual defenses. When you're always spewing low vibratory words, cursing, speaking ill of things, even when you're joking, don't mask a joke because the universe can't tell when you're serious or if you're playing. You know what I mean? If you want to win, don't play about losing. I play about winning all the time. When someone asks me, how you doing? I don't say, I'm doing all right. I don't say, oh, it could be better. I say, winning? I don't care if I just got hit, stung by a bee. You, you okay? I say, I'm winning. I'm winning. I say winning so much that I'm known by winning. You know what I mean? Because I don't play with the universe. I don't play with my higher self or my earthly self. Another thing that weakens your spiritual defenses, family, is not choosing to learn things that will help you grow spiritually. Something as simple as a free mantra. Mantras are free to learn. All it does, it takes time. It takes a couple weeks, if not a month, to learn a good mantra. You know? But most humans, for some reason, they fight for their limitations and they refuse to learn them. I don't know anyone that's learned at least three or four mantras and say them daily that are losing. If I can, before you invest in real spiritual tools, learn some mantras. That was the that was my first path, learning all these divine prayers. And once I learned divine prayers, I noticed the energy around me changed. My life started to change. I started to see like beyond reality. Things just started miraculously happening to me. It felt as if I had some type of a spiritual aura around myself that other people were able to see my light. And I noticed things just tended to go my way. The first thing that happened to me, I'll be honest with you, the first thing, because me and my wife, we have a food blog, Twin Flame Eats, and we love to go out and eat delicious food across the country. The first thing I noticed was we were always having issues finding good parking. Something as simple as always finding a parking spot up front began to occur. And it never happened, but when I started learning mantras, I was getting free food, meals comped, and this was without me even complaining. Things just started happening. And I was like, man, that's something to this, this mantra stuff. Let me go and set my, my ancestor altar up. I set my ancestor altar up and the rest is history. The rest is history. When you show the universe that you're serious about growing spiritually, when you tap into the consciousness of all your ancestors and you're out there at your altar daily taking care of them, things just start to happen. And these are things that you can use to raise your vibration, to, to give you some armor, some spiritual armor. You won't be able to divulge to people like, yeah, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. That's why I'm winning. Because their ego is going to fight for their level, its level of understanding. And it's not going to seek into them. They'll be like, man, he's just talking stuff. He's not winning. All the while you're winning. Another thing you can do to weaken your spiritual defenses is excessive drinking. They call it spirits for a reason, family. When people transition and they don't really go over completely transition over and they're tied to this earthly domain and don't want to completely transition they still do what they love to do while they was here they love to drink funeral homes 
graveyards and bars. Those three places keep some spirits. Keep some spirits. I'm going to go on graveyards first. When people don't cremate themselves and they get buried, they just sit there and watch themselves decompose until they're just gone. It's something about humans that just love to see themselves decompose like that. I don't know why, but it's true. Same thing with liquor. Same thing with um, with bars. When people get drunk, your spiritual f- defenses is, is weakened. And entities that are in the bar that really that can't take a drink themselves will get into you and take a drink for them through you. You ever been around somebody drunk and they just act completely different? It's because they are different. Their spiritual defenses are weakened. You know, one thing about people is this. Somebody somebody may be acting real sweet, but when they get drunk, they become a whole nother person. It's because a whole nother person is in them. It could be multiple people in them. There's plenty of spaces within the human body that a spirit can hide. At any given time, you might have two, three spirits, spirits within you right now and you not even know it. That's why spiritual cleansings are so important, family. That's why raising your vibration is so important, family. When you raise your vibration high enough, a low vibratory being or entity can't share the same space with you. That's why it's so important to learn these divine prayers. That's why it's so important to take in sunlight. That's why it's so important to help people and do good, family. Because you raise your vibration, you become so bright that low vibratory entities cannot find you and they won't they can't even be around you you know one thing that i do that i've done and i'm imploring my wife my daughter and other close spiritual friends to do is be diligent at your altar be diligent at your altar go every day if you eat a little bit give a little bit to your ancestors it's all it's simple just a little bit they don't need a whole four course meal now there are times when you do give them four steak potatoes Things like that when you're really doing a ritual where you or you need something and they'll help you out like that. If you do it for like certain days, you make a pack with them. But when you do that and your ancestors and the other divine beings looking at you daily, taking care of your ancestors, they love that. They say, look at this human trying over here. You know what? I'm going to help this human out. And it's just as simple as that. It's just as simple as that. Another thing that weakens your spiritual defenses is this family. Choosing to be around low vibratory people. There's something about humans and this illusion of time that makes you think you're bound to people. I don't care if it's been 50 years and you had this friend for 50 years and they're losing and you choosing to be around them. You're going to pick up some of their losing energy. It's just as simple as that. I don't know anyone that's out here really winning, really rich, really winning on all facets of life, hanging around people that are losing. And it's hard to cut off family. I know it's challenging. It's challenging, but you must do it if you want to win. You got to make some sacrifices that you've bound yourself to in order to transition to becoming a winner. It's just as simple as that. If you don't believe me, give it a shot. Everybody has a cousin. Everyone has a family member or a close friend that they know ain't no good. But they hang around them anyway because they like, oh, they need me. That's just your ego fighting for its level of understanding, family. You got to stop fighting for your limitations out there. Because you know when you fight for your limitation, you get to keep them. You get to keep them. You get to keep whatever you fight for. You know, fight for your wins, family. And it's never too late. I got a friend, shout out to my my spiritual sister, Vanessa. She mentioned to me th- today that her mom watches my videos. And whenever I hear a seasoned queen, you know, trying to learn something new, it's touching. And if I'm a catalyst to helping anyone a seasoned queen win, I feel great. I feel great. Because I care about you people out there, man. I wish I had somebody. I wish I had somebody like me when my when I was my daughter's age in my early twenties. Let me know things were going to be all right. Stop smoking the weed, Chris. Stop drinking, Chris. Stop going to the club, blowing money, Chris. Stop saying things bad about people, Chris. 
Stop embracing poverty consciousness, Chris. You know, that's why I wrote the book, Poverty Consciousness. If you haven't got my book, Poverty Consciousness, it's one of the best books you'll read. I'm an Amazon bestseller for a reason. Sometimes investing in your spirituality is a great way for the spirit and the universe to know you're serious about growth. You can pray and do all you want to do, but if you don't invest in yourself, you're not going to win. Investing isn't just something you do on a physical level. You must invest in yourself spiritually. You must invest in yourself spiritually, family. That's one of the biggest things that weakens your spiritual defenses is not investing in your spirituality. I spent thousands, tens of thousands of dollars on spiritual tools, family. I spent tens of thousands of dollars on spiritual tools, family, because I wanted to win. I was tired of living check to check. I was tired of just not winning, family. But I'm here to tell you, I'm winning now, and you can too. All it does take is a choice. Once you choose, don't just sit there, I choose to win. You got to start moving like a winner. That's one of the best ways to get some spiritual armor is by moving like a winner. Talking like a winner, walking like a winner, looking like a winner, speaking like a winner, acting like a winner, looking at other winners like winners. You know what I mean? Another thing that you that weakens your spiritual defenses, family, is hating on people. Just being mad at other people for winning. That, that's one of the worst things you can do to weaken your... When you see someone doing better than you, it should inspire you. Look at look at that person. See aspects of, them, of yourself in them. And you should question yourself and say, well, why can't I do it? Don't be like, oh, they doing that. They doing it. <laughs> Don't be like that, family. Don't be like that. The universe puts people in your path to inspire you to win. Again, there's a legion of people around you at every any given moment of any given day trying to push you into the winning lane. And you pushing back. You fighting like, no, I don't want to win. No, I don't want to win. They're pushing you. So you need to just go with the flow and start winning. You get an idea, write it down. You have some big dreams, live them out. You want to travel, start traveling. Things like by, by not pursuing your goals, that's... That's another way of weakening your spiritual defenses. This video could be three days long because there's a myriad of things that weakens your spiritual defenses, family. And you know what they are. I don't need to tell you. Everything that I say, you're probably like, yeah, that, I do that. I do that. Hopefully you don't. But if you do be like, I do that. I do that. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. You know, the humans are creatures of habit. Once you get used to winning, you continue to win but if you're losing that means you're used and accepting a losing reality it's just as simple as that family so if you want to win start out by buying my book of poems it's only eleven dollars and eleven cents there's words in this poem in those poems there's energy and my light my soul are in these poems just to get you thinking different most humans don't think deep enough they don't they don't think beyond the parameters of what they've been brainwashed with. And that's what my poems are. Every book that I write is setting you up for success. My next book, the Dissolving Your Limitations, is going to be my biggest work of art. I might just turn in the light when I'm done, when I publish that book, family. It's just as simple as that. So on that note, peace and love. It's your boy, Chris Enlighten. I want you to win. Choose to win. Look yourself in the eye and say, I'm going to win today. I have a lot of people reaching out to me and they're saying that they're winning. I love that. I love that. What's wrong with telling yourself you want to win? Tell yourself winning. Okay, family. And on that note, winning.